Where did time go? Such a fast flow, incomprehensible, it seems to coast. When you're creating, when you want no failure, so much concentration, when you care for the product, lost in the moment, however sordid or innocent, you hold it precious, time, we're running out of it, no time to postpone, we want our product honed, as beneficial as they come, to a mainframe bona fide, attain a state, a place, without degenerates, phases of play that amaze, crazy days of debauchery, chained to a craze, spaces to derail, the positivity of opponents and their timely train. We are bound by time, its intrinsically continuous design that combined with life is a constraint we find. Sometimes we wish not to get rid of it. In timely erotic moments, we want the hit to last timeless. The continuous nature, we turn the pages, wanting no failure in none of our phases. Time in its essence means we can become complacent. Each individual moment is unnerringly separate. So we move against affliction. As we learn our lessons, the impression of pressure is an otherwise negative format. Patience is a virtue, but to be momentous is brilliant. So what of these anomalies? Which one should we be subservient? I say both, at moments opportune. They will naturally infuse to affect how people view you. Whether acute or obtuse, a moment in time can be used as a form of mental textbook. There can be no excuse when wisdom is overdue. Punitive means, but time to speak means you can breach current reality and ascend your brief stint on earth get a feel for appeal vocally so when you need to speak delete the breaches in your existence from what you teach yourself time is willing to listen and time tells